Who is it? My house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's always like Christmas time. <laughs> um, my well was dry. Oh. So today I drove in and the rigs were there to dig a new well. Yeah. Yeah. Totally dry. Oh yeah. It wasn't recovering since the middle of October, but then it went dry about two weeks ago. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. You guys sure.
Now you think that you're saying it's not getting in the figure out of the community. That's good. And I agree with you, too. My first thought, I just, I just had this flash of be very calm and then whack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn it, so I don't know why. <laughs> This is Yeah. 
regard to the path of the breath. And when I say the space, you have to give you have room to do these other exercises you learned, but it could be also that you have the physical room, but there's a, a couple other cubicles next to you. Anyway, I really questions if you really, uh, if you just sit there and do breaths. It's fairly, even in public, it's fairly private. You don't look necessarily like you're doing something about the lighting sometimes. I have full breaths. This is one I'll do quite often if I'm really harried. At this point, I need that. I have to do that. I have seven more things to do in the next 10 minutes. And, you know, and then I'll get somewhere. essentially at the same time, or that could happen, or got behind the bus, but I didn't, so I could have been two, two minutes and ten seconds later than I am, but roughly, I'm on time, that, that's, that's fine, like when you're 16 or something, you need on time, you're punching in, it's like we're all grown up, I'm on time, we get it, but I'll, I'll get there, and I'll look, it's 2 p.m., I'm supposed to be there at 2, so I'm like, if I got there at 2 or 2, because I was behind the bus, or nobody would even look at me, I'm like, Glad you're here. So I sit in my car and I do four breaths. Because I could have used that time to be on a school bus or making a wrong turn and then 90 seconds later, but it's all the same thing. But I'll just say that to myself. So I'm all cheat code for the brain thing. Like, I'm here. I, c I can find 90 seconds or 45 seconds or a minute and a half, something like that. And I'm just sitting in my car. Like, I'm here. Still have to move. Very rarely. Am I, like, I'm sure even if you have to go to court at 10 a.m., like, go to 10 10, like, like even court seems serious, I'm guessing. But I don't, can't think of too many cases where I exactly have to be somewhere exactly on time. Um, I was half an hour late from home, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so,
it's up to you how to unpack. It may be easiest just to let your awareness really become attuned when you get to that part that it needs, rather than starting with your awareness at the exhale of having to do the other parts of awareness or breathing to be productive. So I gotta do it with that. But what I like about it is that I end with my awareness and I breathe. sneak up on it, but I don't quite mean that in the sense that it's usually sneak up on something it doesn't want to sneak up on. I don't mean that, but it's just kind of, I'm just gently approaching it. Uh, questions? Comments? No, I mean, um, I would have done better with a short breath of all. So if you found that a little tough, then when you try it for stuff, you might go for 16, which is an easy account. Just Or if it was a little too easy, you might try 66, just to uh, see how that, add one more six, uh, <laughs> just to see how that goes for you. Um, and then where the breath, six, 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 six. So you could, um, you could do that. It was just sort of an easy one that I thought would kind of fit. Um, but you also don't have Oh. 
whole other thing there that you just, you really? Do you live with these trees? You never thought about it, maybe? <laughs> it's like, no, I'll visit again when I come down. And Todd can. What's challenging when I get is to do it. Be inhale, hold it, exhale, hold it for the same amount, and you increase it until you're doing 20 seconds for each one. Mm -hmm. When I hear horizon, I think of a little place where Earth meets sky, mm -hmm. and I have a feeling mm -hmm. that that's not. <coughs> Did you hear it? Is that what your question? Were you asking? Oh, the no. little awareness that. Oh well, from here, um, like okay. when, if I were standing up, I'd be looking up, and <laughs> and that's why your perspective of the yeah. So when they're sitting, what you perceive as the end. That's it. Yes. That's so. Um, because I was thinking of my head neck position a lot this past uh -huh. week. And I'm like, oh, the horizon. Okay, I was looking at this other horizon, I think, than what you may have. So it's possible to meant. imagine spatially a horizon incorrectly. Yeah. But if you actually look at the horizon, seated on the floor, seated in a chair, standing, standing on a ladder. We'll see that your head and the neck are in the same relative position in your body. Even though we could argue that when you're on a ladder, you're looking down somewhat, and when you're sitting on the floor, you're looking up or something. The reason that we talk about the horizon is many fold. One is that it's too far away for anybody to measure and check. If I said, do this and look at that dot on the wall, you, you're sort of me, so you'd be looking at it this angle compared to me, I'd be looking at it, and for you it's perfect or whatever. And we could go check that. See, this thing is six foot one, and let me, that means you, that nobody can, can check the horizon. Also, the horizon itself is somewhat indistinct. Oh. But what's great about it is that at its distance, whatever height we're commonly able to look at it is structurally level out looking. So by my saying horizon, everybody has the same adjustment, unless they have a spatial idea of where the horizon is, where they're imagining, then they can get that wrong. But most people can imagine it pretty accurately. And, uh, but I recommend sitting where you can see it. The other thing is that the horizon is never closer. It's always at this furthest distance. A couple other reasons to look at the horizon. Uh, one, it's good for your eyes. Two, it's good for your mind, because the horizon is nature. Three, it's good for your philosophical apprehension of life, because the horizon is where the earth and the sky meet. Right? So that is the vanishing point of humanity. That is the, the child of earth and sky. And so it's the point at which we can see yin and yang harmoniously level. Um, so honestly, just horizon looking. Uh, there's a book of that by a friend I admire uh, who uh, does a few different horizon looking gazing exercises and he's really adamant about uh, you need to awaken your eyes to the vast more often than when we're indoors our bounds are always smaller stop finding the horizons naturally and we're foreshortening what boundedness is and a big part of our lives is in a car and a building or in a city street which is bounded by other buildings and billboards and people and cars and stuff we don't often have the sense of what's the greatest natural point and himself to 
see that your nose blanched. So we've got some stuff. <laughs> and it's pretty extraordinary that, you know, he'll take us and do a lesson. And the first thing we'll do is collect everybody's glasses. And then he'll do a workshop for an hour, 90 minutes, two hours. And, and uh, we'll give you one of those glasses. It's like intensely amazing. certificates of accomplishment <laughs> and he had just driven whatever eight hours or whatever it takes to uh, just, you know through the Donner Pass in the winter like he does for the drill thing but he was so quick he was legally blind at one point mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah he is yeah mm -hmm. it's an amazing story you know yeah the, every book over there there's a good reason that those books <laughs> are there yeah. <laughs> and Meyer's book is one of those amazing can yeah. you accomplish that with reading a book? <laughs> <laughs> I know people have, so really? yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. I, yeah. I know, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's my next question. Yeah. The other amazing thing he does, he goes like this, and then his hands stay here, and his elbows go here, <laughs> and he's clapping with his elbows. Yeah. Wow. Like, <laughs> you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, Dude, and of course, he's us. not like this, he's just here. And just, the yeah, elbows pretty, <laughs> wow. pretty amazing. Just really, really, really amazing. Okay. So. We're going to do a version of what we just did. I'll chime to start. We'll go through the four stages. I'll chime at the end. Since we're going to be watching each of the things, our, our sort of attention is going to be now on this, now on this stage two, now on this stage three. But at the end of it, the question will be, where was the light brightest? Or I noticed each part, I was paying attention, I'm trying to be a good student, but I noticed that the light was brighter on step three. There's no wrong answers, no right. but it's without you putting it somewhere. It's, it's a, without your intention, it's just, yeah, there it is. No right answers, there's no better place for it to be. It's just interesting where I want to say naturally it is, but I don't mean normally naturally. I just mean in this moment for you, given your mood and how you're feeling, what you ate, it is naturally in such and such a place. I don't mean in nature it goes somewhere, just naturally it'll be where it is. Okay? Filling, full, empty, empty. Starting, filling through the nose. Levels of charge.
This is empty.
terms of their synchronization. Just to break you for a moment. Mm-hmm. You seem to be in eight in, eight forward, eight out, and then three in. It's like I couldn't stay empty for more than three. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's something. It's a thing. So, uh, one point that is intensely important is that. suggest something and I don't want to do that. I I can still ask if I may. Um, When you see the exhales were the brightest, was there a feeling that it gave you beyond years we're practicing this practice? It just felt like because I had my eyes I had Uh my eyes closed, it felt brighter. step along the way, but it was all 
always the ex that I get. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. seems like I might not get that one. Yeah. I mean, you know, not in my head, but. Right. Um, I guess that I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Anybody else? Fashion sense hasn't been updated. It'll totally convey. <laughs> you have like arrows for the t shirt on. We're good. Okay. <clears throat> so um, this can be done with both or it, either or either. Neither either or either. Um, yeah. So this particular one.
two fingers that we're discussing. I want to have them a little engaged. I'm not trying to really straighten and stiffen them. They're just a little, uh, maybe more than a little engaged. And the thumb is the most engaged. Very much actively fitting and present. And then these are the ones that are going. And I'm not doing them. They're just hanging out. And for different people, they'll hang out in a different way. But my focus is not this. seated is not do this, it's to rest <coughs> here, and on the back, I'll just show you what it looks like, I'll just do it on my three paper table, so it's not boring, but I'll just sit here, and now I'm going through um, our contextualization practice, right, for seeing through the discomforts and comforts and so forth. Rested, so that I don't feel like I'm tiring. I'm just going to open and I have a sense of, I'll exaggerate here, but I have a sense of my chest being mad, even though that doesn't really move that much, but uh, emotionally. Shirt though, from Jeff. <laughs> so, homework. Okay. I was going to read it to you. <laughs> homework. Uh, my friend Jeff sent me this shirt and then he uh, sent me a little note on this. Is uh, he, he teaches comedy? He teaches what? He teaches comedy. Okay. Jeff Johnson. Justice. Jeff Justice. And um, so he just he must have these cards for whatever he does. But I looked at it and I was like, oh, back to meditation last night. <laughs> Laugh more, stress less, and avoid getting burned out. I'm like, hey, he gave us a lesson as well. Mm -hmm. And he's an old time Tai Chi guy, um, <laughs> as well as a, a comic. So I thought that would be pretty good homework. Laugh more. I need to write that down. <coughs> is, there, is, everybody, uh, is, is everybody here um, a member of the Laughter Club or not? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, are you? Is it open enrollment? It's 
sounds like something you want to do.